Title This is a game show where celebrities compete to title Kastabi paintings for cash awards. And tonight's contestants are the art critic and TV producer for Artnet TV, Nicole Davis. Yeah. Art critic, curator, and editor of Paper Magazine, Carla McCormick. And uh, legendary performance artist and rock musician, and coming to the Whitney Biennial this year, 2008, Kembra Fowler. Um, I'd like to offer the title Meth Head. Meth Head? Because <laughs> it looks like he's scrubbing the floor with a toothbrush. Oh, 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 oh. Or Kembra Slave. Yeah. Kembra Slave? <laughs> Sorry, we won't go there. <laughs> no, Meth. <laughs> meth. Meth head. Meth head. Okay, yeah, because he's like scrubbing the marble floor yeah, with a toothbrush. And Carlo and Nicole. <laughs> Reflections on a Grecian urn. <laughs> <laughs> That's too obvious. That's good, though. I, I didn't even get the grown I, I can't I was get over for. this, Carlo. What does it feel like to have a picture of your know, son on the cover of New York Magazine? on an article called Why Kids Lie. <laughs> How does that feel? I uh, just can't get over that. Jealousy. Yes, that's it. I'm that must be like <laughs> an unusual moment in your life. Like, it is. It is. <laughs> it's, like, it is. <laughs> it's really weird because, you, you know, the New York Magazine has incredible placement on, New I never really read the magazine, but it has really good placement on stands. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm always walking by and thinking I'm seeing my kid and that he's playing hooky from school or something. It's like. It, it's, he's in a private school too, right? No, he's not. Oh, he's not? We're public school oh. people. Oh. What, are you're public school people? Yes. Oh, okay. You know, I, but he goes to the same school that Fred Tomaselli's kid goes to. That's right. right. Yes. He's another. That's a, another public school yes. person. I wonder what his fellow students are saying. That's where I learned the lie. <laughs> he's in autographed school. it to you. Really? Yeah. That's super cool, right? White kids lie. It's like, yes. Okay, you went to private school? I did. That's where I learned to lie, was in school. Oh. You li the first lie I must have told was to my teachers. Not to my parents. Really? Because you didn't want to... Well, yeah. the homework thing and that you just, you don't feel obligated to them, so you just sort uh -huh. of, you don't you have, to lie you lie school. about not having your homework. I think that was one of my first lies. That's interesting. Too I'm going to read that article and find out if they covered that aspect of it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a long they plane trip. You said they blame yeah. it on the parents. Part, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. How about false identity? False identity. Yeah. Okay. The best title of yours, Kimbra, is Meth Head. I don't know if that's the best title. Should we ask New York City? Yeah, I think. I think. Can so. I buy Meth Head by Kimbra Fowler for twenty dollars? Yes. The money goes to Kimbra Fowler. Meth Head. Yes. <laughs> It's a restaurant scene, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of eavesdropping going on in it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can propose a title. Go ahead. Just desserts. Just desserts. <laughs> Interesting. Is it finished, Mark? No, no, no. No, no, it's, no it's, it's, not. It's, it's being documented for that documentary. You know, the one Michael Sladek is making. Manly is painting it, and the whole process of the creation of this painting is being documented. Maybe Where's even our titling process of it right now. So, yes, Nicole? Where's the eavesdropping? Yeah, good question. I, I, I know I put some in there. Let me see what <laughs> 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 Lower left. <laughs> Lower left? Well, the pink. Well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is the one without the eavesdropping. Yeah, this is the one with the, the, the intruding Estonian woman there. <laughs> Um, I like to offer the title. Yeah, there's Mark. no eavesdropping. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nicole. Yes. I like to offer the title. Yes. Soylent Green Sunrise. <laughs> wow. That's pretty that's good. good. That's really good. That almost they, sounds they like a voluptuous horror right? Karen Black song to me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. God, it makes you want to just grab those little bodies and munch them, right? <laughs> Well, they might be eating people. It's a, it looks like a restaurant of the future. <laughs> they're eating people. Yeah, they're cannibals. Nibbling. They're nibbling. They're nibbling. Yeah, they're not Nicole, really eating. Nicole, okay. Do you have a title too, uh, Nicole Davis? Uh, I don't know. Leisure, leisure hour. Leisure, leisure hour. Was, was just dessert so bad that you you, you want to just ignore that one? Well, no, no, I like it. I actually have titled the painting that, but we oh. can, I can do it again. But Louis is chomping at the bit. Oh, okay. Yes, Louis Fleck. Served it up. No. <laughs> this is Karen Black member over there. Yeah. Hi. Uh, putting on the Ritz. Putting on the Ritz. 
Possibly. The, did the other Karen Black member have a title? No. Munching on the Ritz. Munching on the Ritz? <laughs> uh, Greg, right? Greg, right? Eric or Greg? On the menu. On the menu? Waiter for Godot? <laughs> <laughs> oh. They look so, they almost look bored. They... And yes, the other Karen Black person. What? Tavern on the Dream? Oh, oh not yes. so bad, not so bad. And I buy Tavern on the Dream. Oh, it's unanimous? No, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, you get 40. What's your name? <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh my goodness. Ace wants this drawing for the Red Dot Fair. You're looking at your notes, Carlo. Well, because I had a yeah. good one for that uh, for the painting, for the painting, painting which it never got even said, so yeah. I can't remember. This big block head, yes. called Making Headway or something? Making Headway. Didn't we call it that? I think that's, so. That's when the heading out. Heading out. Call making Headway is pretty good. Making Headway is really good. Did, was that what the painting was called? No, this was Heading Out. Oh, oh. Heading Out. Making Headway is brilliant. Okay. Can I buy med Making Headway by Kembra Fowler for $20? Yay! Oh, you got 40 Yay! Wow. Oh, my God. Yay! Really good. She is very celebratory. Are you voting uh, green for her titles because you want to see her do the little dance? Thing? Is that the... <laughs> no, no, because they're good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding. But I'm not kidding with the artistic statement about this painting. I, I, this painting is... is it, I'm feeling is, the muse on this one right away. Really? Spell check. Mm. <laughs> But it's very good, but it lightens the, 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 the well, social criticism of the piece. It, well, I mean, it's, this is Tooker level here. Uh, Alienation. Um, compartmentalization of the human psyche, Carlo. Big brother. I know. These man, are big you know, themes. Well, spell check, there's a tyranny to spell check because I make up a lot of words. and I'm, I'm almost like Kembra. I make up so many words. Yeah? And the computer is always telling me I'm wrong. <laughs> and I'm like, well, because oh. it underlines it, you know, and things like that. But never mind. Look at that, Carlo. Can you make that camera move? Uh, make the overhead camera move. Oh, can they make it move? I was yeah. wondering if I could. Well, I can I, make I've been well, trying to work I, on I my telepathic skills, but I, <laughs> that was pretty tough for me. It's I can move now. Mark, but. The overhead camera's going to move. Wow. wow. Pretty good. Pretty good. Now, now nice. I'm going to make it move a lot. Watch this. Make it, I'm going to make it move, move a lot. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty good. Okay. So we have that right here, the overhead camera, um, keeping I, tabs on the mindless minions. Um, I'd like to offer the title, yes. Mark, um, Civil Disobedience. But there's no disobedience. There's complete obedience. Well, how do you know there. if they're being um, obedient? We don't know what they're typing. We're not sure what they're typing. That guy, um, the um, creature on the left looks, doesn't look exactly obedient. But did you notice the chains, Kembra? Oh, the, oh, I just thought that was for fun. I'm Those sorry. are chains. <laughs> you thought the chains were for fun? Okay. No, oh, you, oh, you mean as an S&M? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, you, that if, if I was being okay. too frivolous before, can we try accountability? I think we can try um, that. Yeah. Okay. But we should also try oh, sorry. and consider what Nicole Davis has to offer. How about Eye of the Oppressor? Eye of the Oppressor. That's heavy. And Kembra, um, your best see. title. Um, um, let's see, um, gosh, um, uh, ergonomic, er, um, it's coming, hold on, ergonomic, uh, I don't know. Let's vote on er, it. Ergonomic cubicle defiance. Wait, no, they're not being defiant. No, oh, they're being totally submissive. Okay, here we go. Ergonomic. I'd like to offer the title, Mark. Ergonomic <laughs> cubicle compliance. Well, that's pretty nice. Can I buy ergonomic com whatever she says? <laughs> <laughs> cubicle uh, compliance. Cubicle compliance is good. Now we're going to try Carla McCormick's title, Accountability. Can I buy that for $20? Not, I'm shocked, Carlo. I know. I, 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 think, I think it's personal. You're actually. too smart for the room. No, I think yeah, it's personal. I, think okay, I, cool. I got some haters out there. What did I say? I said Eye of the Oppressor. Eye of the Oppressor. Can I buy the Eye of the Oppressor? Uh, almost. Uh, yes, she gets it. Yeah, $20 to Nicole Davis for getting all red. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that must hurt, but the money helps, it helps. the pain. <laughs> 
what it's about. Right. Yeah. I love Carlo's title. Should I we try your too. first I one? Really like I like Carlos. the first one also. Let's try that. What was the first one again? Spell check. Can I buy a spell check for twenty dollars by Carlo McCormick? Mm. Okay. Oh, do I get twenty? Yeah. That's oh, almost a gun. Yeah, you do because Lisa loves you, so her, her vote is not sincere. Uh, twenty dollars to Carlo McCormick. Yeah. Lisa, you see, you got it. Think about the title, not the person offering the title. <laughs> we know you love Carlo. So remember when, like, when we used to have Mr. Collector and Simon on the same show? Remember those days? <laughs> when Simon was a contestant, Mr. Collector always said yes. It had nothing to do with the quality yeah. of the title, only to do with either love or probably control. Now, what should we call this picture, which is about control? Kimber, what was yours? Compliance. Cubicle compliance. Ergonomic cubicle compliance. But cubicle compliance. Let's try that. Yeah. Yeah. Moder modified by Molly. Cubicle yes, compliance wins. It. Money goes to both Molly and Kembra. Goes to Kembra. And to Molly. A drawing. This one's not for Ace. He didn't pick this one. Not because he didn't like it. This was made after his visit earlier this morning. Um, did you catch that? You just made I it? alluded to the fad that, that it was made quickly. Yeah. Finished this morning. Uh, this is, thank you. It's a good angle of the, the, yes, the fountain. The yeah, we're in the fountain. We're in the partially designed by Bernini fountain and called uh, the, 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 the turtle fountain, <laughs> La Fontana de la Tartaruga in Piazza Matei. And we have a, an alto saxophone player here, a pianist here, and a muse, a muse, a female muse who is dialoguing with the turtle who's now in the water instead of up here where, where um, the Baroque sculptor put him. So, it's an Italian scene. It's going to make a nice painting. Yes, Carlo? I don't know if it's good, but uh, it's what it comes to my mind. It's statuesque. Statuesque. I like the word, yeah. and I like the idea of majesty and majestic. I think the music that's being made is very majestic here. What crowd did it it's the <laughs> oh, oh come on, Charles. <laughs> it's the uh, it's the, the it's common popularly known in English as the Turtle Fountain in oh, Rome. Okay. La Fontana della Tartaruga. Okay. In Piazza Matei, in the ghetto, the Jewish ghetto of Rome. It's in the Jewish ghetto. Near the near or in the Jewish ghetto, yeah. Well, then how about um? And and, and ghetto does not have pejorative connotations. Oh, no, the neighborhood. It's it's yeah. How about davening? Da what? Davening. Davening? She's the muse, or dav she's, they're getting their... Davening? Davening. That's a, we, in Judaism, that's a practice when you're bringing in the spirits, when you're praying, you're davening. Oh. It's divining. Does that relate to the music? And well, the she's... I think I got one. I'm somehow sorry. she's davening through nature and they're taking her as a muse. They're it's not getting... Well, you are focusing right, on right. this important part of the painting. The, the muse is, but, uh, is talking about, with the turtle. Yes. How about water music? Water music? Ooh. It's pretty good. Man. I thought of something quickly, um, although it's the wrong religion, although I do think that most monotheistic religions are essentially the same, so I'd like to offer the title Turtle Tithing. They're offering something to the turtle. <laughs> what I like about this picture also is the kind of lonely metaphysical feeling that you, that you get in this piazza. Look, it's like windswept, there's a boat in the distance, there's no, no other people around, just the two musicians and the could muse who's listening. Could it be a take off on Paul Cadmus? Yes, it could be. It's of the era, kind of. The feeling is of the era. Paul Cadmus. We like Paul Cadmus, but right, I, um, Molly? Yeah. I like individual yeah. pursuits. Individual pursuit. Pursuits. Oh, yeah, 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 that's good. Everyone has their own agenda. Exactly. Hmm. I like that. Isn't it casting a negative spell on the picture? Because there's a there's no. a duet going on yeah, down yeah. here. Yes. They're together. They're in called hold that note. Yeah, that's a good one. You, we use that. Though. Oh, you have? You you gave it to me. You know, that's a great <laughs> yeah. thing about having a bad memory. You get to experience everything yeah. again, as if for the yeah, first time. That's um, I just like to to um, repropose turtle tithing because turtle I, what? Tithing. <laughs> turtle she tithing. wants a vote. Turtle tithing. She wants a vote. What is tithing? Tithing, tithing is tithing is when you give money to the church. Oh, it's the Mormons do it. Okay, let's vote on it. Say it again. Uh, turtle tithing. Turtle tithing. Can I buy that for twenty dollars? It's been reproposed and not accepted. I yes, say it. I hear everything. Can I buy? I hear everything by Louis Flat. No. Okay, we're gonna title this turtle soup. Turtle soup. Oh, Carlo. Sorry. Oh, those poor little turtles. The whisperer. The whisperer. That would be an homage to Wilfredo Arias. Turtle blues. Turtle
total blues? No, 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 no. The melody of the purple fountain. No. The, the miracle, miracle of what? The melody of the purple fountain. Oh, the purple one? Yeah. After you throw food coloring in? No, no, no. There's music. There's stillness. There's uh, metaphysics. There's Baroque sculpture. You really think water music's that bad? I like water Can I buy I water it's, music? I think it's pretty good. Water music by Carla McCormick. Pretty, cl uh, it's pretty close. Uh, right? You hate it, though. You no, it's half and day. half, and I think there's a better title. What's the better title? Yes? Melody meditation, not too much alliteration in the not quite the right way. I got twenty dollars right here. Melody of the golden fountain. Of, so they say louder. Melody of the golden fountain. Mm. How about me and my turtle? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now. Okay, let's. Right, this is New York City. We, we're about quality here, Louis. The secret language. There, there oh, that's go. good because we're open. There what? you go. That's the, it. The secret language. The whether it gets forty dollars to Louis Flap for the secret language. Yes. Okay. Well, that one's over. Now we're talking. Okay, this one is about body parts coming out of things that gone to pot. Gone to pot. Can I? Do I even need to vote? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I might get forty. You might get forty. Does Carlo get twenty or forty dollars? Is it worth forty dollars to Carla McCormick? Gone to pot. Yes, forty dollars to Carla McCormick. Gone to pot. Yes. <laughs> this is a painting of a female figure perched on a cash register. Considering two options: this peaceful metaphysical world, which has no people in it, or this this cosmic place with red and white stars. And she's calculating the odds and, and the profits with this calculator. Um, you seem amused by the analysis, mm -hmm. perhaps, Nicole? I don't know. You don't know? Um, yeah, I don't know. The, the image is sort of like, like easy money. Easy money. Because it's either you go to work in I, I, those smokestacks in the factories, or you kind of just, I mean, she took her clothes off, so it's sort of like easy money. Go to money. work outside the easy factory. Money. Easy money. Yeah. Is that easy the money. image of a woman giving of herself or... Yeah, so you're proposing easy money as a title. I don't want to say anything because easy Sorry, money, Nicole. I'd say easy money. She, Nicole would say easy money. I think it's a good title. Let's see if... Carla always gets these phone right. calls on the show. Right. Yeah. We want to know who's... I just keep who's, forgetting who's, to turn it off. Well, we want to know who it is, Carla. Well... Billy Bowery? Yeah. Billy Bowery? That's another one of his uh, friends he's waiting He's uh, used to be in the Angel. He's an interesting guy. Okay. Billy Bowery just called Carlo. Kimber, well, I, it's not his real name. It's he's oh. Billy on the Bowery. You know that place where you can get all those incredible things. Oh. Billy's on the Bowery. Oh, isn't that a friend of uh, of um, Helen's? People. Yes, I yeah. think he's very old good, friend of good Helen's. Good friend of Helen's. Yes. Yeah. Personal stuff here. Okay, uh, <laughs> look at this painting. It it needs a title. Um. It, it, you know what? Can I have a China marker? The How about counting on vacation? That's pretty good. Can I have a China marker? <laughs> Now, this painting was reworked recently. It used to not have this decurical part here. The old title was uh, Miguel. Social shows. Registry's pretty to, good. Uh, no, I don't think so. No? Yeah. Oh. I'm sure maybe. I'm going to cross it off right here. Social Register is, is pretty good. You're right. It's pretty, pretty good, good, but it's not great. Um, I'd like to offer the title The Abacus versus, Abacus versus Femelin. Femelin? Femelin. <laughs> She was almost going to make sense there for a minute. No, no. <laughs> She's got her own language. No, it's, not, it's not my language. Femlin is, a, is the, is the uh, cartoon character by Leroy Neiman in, um, really? in Playboy Leroy Magazine. Really? Playboy, that was her name? Playboy Magazine. The girl in the martini glass kind yeah, of Yeah, and she, this lady looks like sort of a modern Femlin to me. She doesn't have the boots on, but she looks like she's enjoying herself on the cash register. That's pretty and, good. And, and, I think it's um, great with the expo, you know. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. the, therefore, yeah. the title is? Abacus versus Femlin. Can I buy Abacus versus Femlin by? Yes, oh, unanimous. Oh, my gosh. Almost. <laughs> yeah, it's a double. Yeah, yeah. it's double. $40 to $10. Very good. Okay. There we go. Okay. And now, I would like to hear fantastic music performed by Kembra Fowler. And while the band is setting up, we're going to title a painting. So can someone bring me an artwork? That one there, yeah. A very appropriate painting to title right before some fabulous music. OK, we've got a trio. $50. Yeah, $20. Thank you, Daniel. If this is Mark Kostabi, and if that's Jerry Murata, who's that on stick? 
$50. You know, we didn't have a $50 paying this uh, game. Okay, $50. $50. Tony Levin. Tony Levin. The money, well, that's $20. He knew that that's Tony Levin on stick. Thank you. All right, now, yeah. just a second. Before we title the painting, I can't resist. Louis, yes. this, is, this is a question I just have to ask you. You told me that you didn't know that your brother won a Grammy until now on the show. But he's won so many. It's like really, it's like he doesn't even have shelf space at this point. <laughs> now you're gonna have dinner with your brother tomorrow, right? No, I'm gonna see him tonight. Tonight? Yes. You should ask he him. He won tomorrow. a Grammy. The whole world knew that he won a Grammy four or five days ago, and you didn't know until I told you a few minutes ago. After a while, it just becomes expected. I just assumed that you won. <laughs> you just assumed he won. Oh. Just like I assumed that you were gonna make another painting. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, thank you, Louis. Now for fifty dollars, what do we call this music scene here? Pianist. Drummer, stick player, Chapman stick player. For 50 bucks, what should we call this? Amplified aesthetics. Oh, I love it. Mm. Nicole, what do you have? Wow, that's good. Shoot, I kind of get this 50 bucks. <laughs> what did uh, you say, Nicole? Okay. <laughs> she wants the money. You want the money, is that what you said? I want the money. Well, how are you gonna get the money? I gotta be, I gotta be his. 50 um, bucks. Was she, did she get a chance? Oh yeah, you get a chance too. Uh, Canberra, for $50, show the painting to Canberra, Wilfredo. For $50, sh show her the painting. What's the name of this painting, Canberra? Mm, um, let's see. Ooh, gosh. Uh, I, like to, I like to offer the title, Primary Color Palette. It's a thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Primary color uh, rock. No, excuse me. Primary color jazz jazz fusion palette. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very good analysis. Nicole, your best title for fifty dollars. I don't think I can beat Carlo. You can't beat Carlo. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, it's, let's can let's I see vote? Let's, like Carlo, can you repeat your let's see if you like amplified title. aesthetics? Amplified aesthetics by Carlo McCormick. Is that worth fifty dollars? Yes, yeah. it is. The money goes to Carlo. Yes. Thank you.